Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Q and I hope you guys are having a good day today um, because on the 15th of October a lot of information in gaming has dropped today um, but we're going to focus on one right now. Uh, I'll make videos for the other um, news and information that has dropped uh, today. It's a heavy news cycle for gaming if you're a fan of um, Xbox or PlayStation 5 um, but let's focus on uh, what happened um, today. Uh, so if you haven't followed Jeff Grubb on Twitter or on YouTube YouTube definitely follow him he, he writes for VentureBeat and today he released uh, an article showcasing a teardown of the one terabyte NVMe drive from Seagate for the Xbox Series X and and there's some interesting tidbit of news that I like to kind of go over so here's the article here and I was scrolling through it and uh, the biggest thing to uh, that came out of this teardown uh, not only is the size of the card and that the um, you know the metal around the card that protects it is used to dissipate heat and when it, c it gets into contact with the Series X with the springs on the system it's going to help kind of dissipate the heat uh, from the SSD um, but the biggest news is the chips and what chips are being utilized by Seagate uh, one of the biggest things uh, that was uh, that he was able to discover and you can see it etched right on the chip here is that the memory the one terabyte is used by Hynix and this is actually good. Um, Hynix, um, you know, they, they developed a lot of memory chips um, for the market, especially SSDs. Um, but we'll get into that uh, a little bit uh, after this. Um, but knowing that one terabyte in the small density here means that they are probably using Hynix's uh, new 4D technology for NAND memory. Uh, because if you think about the size of this memory card, it's almost half the size of a standard, uh, you know, NVMe SSD drive uh, that's out there. Um, that's you know commercially available right so the fact that it's half the size means they have to pack one terabyte in a very small dense size uh, the other um, thing that we found out was that the controller is using a Fison controller so this Fison controller is you know an NVMe um, you know PCI 4 controller and it handles uh, right about 3.75 gigabytes per second so that's more than enough uh, you know wiggle room or leg room for the uh, the transfer speeds in terms of what the internal SSDs are being utilized um, you know by the Series X uh, another interesting thing that we notice is the connection or the pins that the uh, the SSD uses um, so it looks like they are using the same pin configuration as compact flash express cards uh, which is which is not bad uh, because uh, you know um, that technology in terms of just the bus from the compact flash express uh, is up to four gigabytes um, but I believe that because this is NVMe uh, you know, SSD with the PCI 4.0 uh, that they uh, most likely have a custom bus that they've um, you know modified and even Jeff explains this in his article too and I totally agree with what he is stating um, so it's uh, definitely uh, you know a, a very nice tear down of the card really shows you the compact small nature of the the storage size and why it costs the way it does um, but let's go over here to Hynix's website so one of the things that if you don't know who Hynix is they make a ton of memory uh, a ton of uh, you know uh, flash storage so one of the things that that is going to help drive down price in the future is the fact that as a component manufacturer they own about 85 percent of the NAN flash market which is good so that means you know as as more of their chips are utilized in PC it's going to drive down the price uh, so other than the proprietary fabrication that Seagate has developed for this SD card knowing that the NAND flash prices will most likely fall in line with the supply and demand of the PC industry uh, you know it bodes well it's going to come down to Microsoft and Seagate on whether or not they reduce price quicker uh, just as you know um, there's more competitors and Microsoft did state that they have other manufacturers uh, that will have options uh, for external SSD storage um, but just want to kind of highlight this if for the non-technical people out there that don't know who Hynix is uh, you know I've, I've have you know several PC components from RAM uh, to to memory modules uh, that utilizes Hynix and a lot of laptop manufacturers utilize Hynix for their RAM and their SSDs so again because of this and their new 4D technology for memory which really is the reason why you're seeing all that density of a storage capacity into a such a small footprint uh, this also bodes well for future 
storage capacities, uh, you know, ranging all the way up to two terabytes and possibly beyond is that, you know, you're going to have that small form factor, um, you know, and, and efficiency, right? So uh, some really exciting news. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I wanted to create a video to kind of talk a little bit about this. And for a lot of people that think or have suggested that, that because it's proprietary, that we're probably not going to see a huge price drop from, from Xbox or Seagate. But I believe that with these components that they're utilizing, they do have the ability to, to really leverage price cuts and stay competitive so I think what's going to happen is that as you see prices drop on the on the memory card on the memories for PlayStation 5 from from their you know over-the-counter um, SSDs I think you know Microsoft is probably gonna try to keep in line with some of the cost there you can already see that right now with the price ranges even though the the newer ones um, that do support the PlayStation 5 are about the same cost and they, they run, uh, you know, at least almost double the speed. But you know what? All this is new technology, guys. It's going to take a couple of years for this to really become mainstream. So, you know, SSDs with PCIe 4, it's new tech that's happening right now even for PC gamers and PC builders, right? So over time, this is going to drop in price, um, you know, and, and really the component manufacturers don't want to drop it, their price as quickly as they want because they want to, you know, sell as much as they can. Um, but you're going to get retailers, whether it's Amazon or other, you know, uh, PC retailers, uh, they're going to start being very aggressive year to year and dropping these prices down to get people to buy them, right? So, um, so yeah, no, it's, uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, post it down and I'll be happy to answer them but this is a pretty cool teardown I'm glad that somebody actually did tear down the memory card uh, because that was something that was on my hit list to do when I when I actually get the card uh, on launch day on November 10th but uh, now that they've now that Jeff Grubb's done it I don't think I need to do this I mean it's it's a fairly simple uh, you know um, design and format and really the biggest thing was trying to understand who who are the component manufacturers to this and this actually is very good news um, uh, for if if you guys are Xbox fans, like I said, I, I'm getting a PlayStation 5, an Xbox, and I'm a PC gamer. So for me, it's all about the tech. And the tech that's in this is pretty cool. So you guys have a great day. If you are new here, uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.